Hi there and thank you again for joining me. It's Tuesday, it's my Facebook live day and my YouTube live day. I try and do a double whammy on a Tuesday so it doesn't take up my whole week. <laughs> Lovely to have your company. I'm hoping to do something for Chinese New Year, which in the UK is this Saturday. So, Gong Hei Fat Joy, I hope I've pronounced that right, to excuse the pronunciation. And um, so I'll be using lots of reds and some blacks and two different stamp sets. And um, yeah, it's going to make a card. I think it's the um, New Moon Festival as well. I don't know if that coincides or whether that's something else. So somebody might be able to tell me um, if they know the details to that. So tonight I'll be using two stamp sets. One's going to be Colourful Seasons and the other one is Woven Heirlooms. So you'll get a better look at this when I turn the camera around. And then we're going to do a lot of punching out with punches today as well. So I'm not going to spoil the surprise. I'm just going to give a chance for people to come on. Sometimes it's a little while for notifications to happen, etc, etc, as they say in The King and I. So I'll show you what punches I'm, I'm going to use and then I'll maybe tell you what we're going to do. So I'm going to use a teeny tiny circle punch which is only half an inch. So I'm going to be using that. We're going to be using the one inch circle. I'm going to be using the two inch circle punch and a new punch which is available um, called that goes with a stamp set called Under My Umbrella. Um, yeah, it makes you just want to sing the Rihanna song. So be careful with that earworm. Um, I was going to try and call the comments on my other device to see if I can do that. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Let's have a look. Might be a bit slower than my phone. It's not really working. So hi there, everybody. Great to have your company and thank you so much for joining me live. You can share this broadcast out now if you want so other people can catch it live or after it's done, you can share that out too. So let's just do a roll call. Hello, Bobby. Lovely to see you. I was thinking about you today, Bobby. So hi, Bobby and Janice and Audrey and Gloria and Jeannie and Ruth and Ali and Mary and Anne-Marie and... Did I say Sheila, Misty and Cheryl? Great stuff. Okay, I, I can't call it up on my other device. So I'm just going to use this screen. Christine from Wisconsin. I knew somebody that was from there. I used to work with somebody from Wisconsin. Welcome. Lovely to have your company. Okay, let's get started. Let's make sure we've got good lighting. Okay, I'm not going to show you what we're going to make. I'm going to make it as I go along. That's the idea. Sometimes I like to surprise you. <laughs> Okay, so let's get punching. I think I'm going to start with the smallest one first. So we need one little circle. I might zoom you in as well. So then you can see what's going on. Do you say hello if you're popping on? Hi there, Janet. Nice to see you. So one little half inch circle. Welcome, Janie. Jamie, sorry. One of those, we need a gold one of these for later. So this is the one inch foil with um, gold foil with the one inch punch. We need one of these closed umbrellas. Oh, Darlene's having troubles with her comments. She said, got to hide comments so I can see and then I can't see the comments. <laughs> so I'll try and I'll try and maybe if I lift you up a bit then there'll be room for everything to fit on. So you need one of those. Now the circle is a little bit more tricky, but we're gonna I'm gonna get you through this. Together we'll do this. So I'm gonna cut a whole punch out with the two inch. And I'm using this colour called Poppy Parade. And then I'm going in hmm. Maybe halfway ish, maybe a bit, a little tad bit more. Hopefully, you can see that. And then we're going to punch that. And then we're going to use this bit and feed it back into the punch. And we're going to make it um, into a slither. Okay, a slither. So you've got that. And then the other thing I want to do is bring back the umbrella punch. 
just checking my little doofer, <laughs> my example. And then what did I do? I can't remember. Um, so I, I think I punched the bottom of the umbrella. So that's that's that shape from there, the bottom of the umbrella. And then um, I'm trying to remember what I did. I'm going to bring back my one inch. You could probably just do this with your one inch punch. And I'm going to cut out another little shape there. Okay. Are you with me so far? Give me a tap the thumbs up or the hearts if you're if I haven't lost you yet <laughs> if I'm if I'm with you okay so what on earth are we going to make of this well my aim is to make a rat <laughs> it's the year of the rat so um, I'm gonna I'm aiming to make a rat with this now I've been experimenting and experimenting and tried my hardest to turn it into a rat it still looks a little bit mouse like but um zoom out please Sheila there is that better so we're going to cut a neck into the small circle and I'm going to bend that round so you've got more of a um, like a little mini cone shape, okay? And then we're going to use that half inch. Good morning, Janice. Lovely to have you company. We're going to use that half inch punch and I'm going to nick out about halfway like that okay because this is going to be the mouse's head sorry who said mouse it's not a mouse it's a rat <laughs> this is going to create the rat's body this is going to create the rat's mm, hands claws and this is going to create the rat's tail now tell me it looks like a rat please i've spent a little while perfecting my rat <laughs> So, in order to just decorate him a little bit, I'm using the woven heirloom stamp set on this scroll here. I'm gonna, oh no, not that scroll, the wrong one. This scroll here. Okay. I see it, says Audrey. I'm glad you see it. I'm glad. In fact, it probably doesn't matter which scroll you use, but I did use this one. So I'm hoping it's looking more rat-like than it is mouse-like. Now, when I put his eye on, I think it makes a difference, personally. And I think it does matter where you position your things. So they have quite small ears. So um, not big ears like a rat, uh, a mouse. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to get rat and mouse. Oh, muddly, muddly. Then we're just going to glue this down like that. I think I'm going to have him sort of more standing up on their hind legs okay it looks ratty oh i'm so pleased because honestly my original one kind of didn't look more mouse like than ratty like so i'll show you what we're doing with the gold the gold is the decoration for the card so we're just going to put assemble assemble the rat <laughs> now we don't want that to be too i want him to have a little hand like that you might need to just keep adjusting it to make it look more. Maybe it's that that makes it look like a. Oh, Audrey says my son and his partner had pet rats and they were adorable. It is looking a little bit more mouse like now. Maybe it's his little hand. Open mouth. That's his mouth there. When I put the eye on, you'll see the difference. So for the eye today, I'm going to be using the. Um, from my heart fasted gems I try really hard not to get these everywhere actually the size of the eye might make a difference it's like a tiny red one because again i don't think they've got very big eyes i'll show you my my um ah see that makes a big difference do you think that looks more like a rat maybe the positioning of the eye counts as well shall i show you my original Maybe I should give it a bigger eye. Maybe you can decide. That's my original one. So shall we go for the big eye or the small eye? So I'm keeping it in with red with for the Chinese and New Year because they like that colour. I think it's their lucky colour. Maybe the big one. Anyway, let me know, okay? 
In the meantime, let's get stamping onto our card and actually making, using the rat and making it into something. So I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock here. Let me know what you think about the eye, whether we want the big one or the small one. I'm going to use, continue to use the woven heirlooms and I've got this sentiment, wishing you a day of love and joy. <laughs> We've got people telling me different things. One says small, one says large. So um, you'll have to decide before I get it stuck down what you reckon to the eyes. So I thought, yeah, wishing you a day of love and joy would be a suitable sentiment. We're getting a lot of votes for the big eyes. And then I'm going to do a border around the edge with the scroll. Oh, people are saying small now. I have to decide at the very end, I think. And I thought these looked a little bit Chinesey sort of scroll design. Small beady eyes. I suppose they do have small beady eyes. And then we're going to come down the sides. <laughs> Everyone's still voting. Now I'm not going to worry about the bottom because I'm going to put something down there. Oh, I smudged already. Done a little smudge. But hopefully that might get a little bit covered up anyway. Okay. Should have done my sentiment over a bit, but there we go. What's done is done. And then I'm going to go in with Colourful Seasons. The big eye looks more rat-like, the small eye more mousy. The big eye is a little cuter and less creepy. <laughs> uh, maybe I just shouldn't have an eye. Maybe I should just, you know. So, okay, I should really have a piece of paper under here, but I'm a bit late for that. Gonna bring on some blossom. I'll come back on this one a bit. Do things in threes. There we are. So just keeping it really simple with the colours. Poppy parade and base and uh, a black colour. So I've used the black memento ink, and then. Going to go in with some blossoms. Oh, he needs an eye. <laughs> There's no doubt about it, he needs an eye. Now, this particular stamp, I don't know why, it's a little bit temperamental when I use it. So just ignore any smudges and then I'm going to use one of the um, stamen for the inside of the flowers. I'm just going to use the same one for all the blossom because it works. It just gives it a cool effect. Now the other thing I'd like to do just to give it some border. Now I've got to bring on my gold thing. Is to just swipe it across into my black ink. Now you might not, that might not show up on camera, but when you actually put it against another piece of card, you'll just see a hint of black around the edge. Might, that might pick up on the screen now. Then we're going to, because I think it's a new moon or there's something to do with a new moon, I'm going to put my gold moon, just have a touch of, another touch of colour in there. Then for along the bottom of the picture, just to help to ground it, I'm going to use some um, torn black paper. I, I know this happens to be the right size. <laughs> I'm just going to trim off a bit to go down at the bottom of the card and then Mr Ratty here can fit in. I could have him up on 
three dimensionals a little bit. Right, let's sort out this eye business. I think it does matter how you position him as to make him more mouse-like or not. <gasps> Did I say mouse again? More rat-like. I might need to lob, it, lob the bottom off a bit there. You need to have a little play to find out what's... Um, I think maybe he should be a bit more upright. I might have to lob off a bit of the bottom. Let's just bring in the small eye again. I've lost my little um, beads. Mmm, tricky, tricky. I think the small one gets a little bit lost, so we're going to go for the big one. So is anybody doing anything to celebrate Chinese New Year? Is it something you celebrate? I've got my paper lanterns up. Um, and I've got my red, some red candle holders out and some lanterns, some actual lanterns, I don't mean, got paper lanterns, maybe a black eye. Ooh, black, let's, this is a permanent marker pen. Then black eye. <laughs> Just an observation, the curve cut under the chin can be a bit nearer to the front says my mum. So what, that bit, more like that? Is that what you mean? And maybe move that up a bit? Like that? Maybe move his hand out of the way. I've got to wait for about seven seconds. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Just not the curve cut under the chin, under the chin, can be a bit nearer to the front, like that way. Like that. I was given a bunch of lanterns last week for my birthday. Oh, how lovely. Let me know, because I need to stick him down. Such a cute rat. Does he look like a rat or a mouse? <laughs> I think I'm going to have to get sticking in the hope that my mum can type yes. Yes, that's just what I meant, dear. <laughs> uh, I think it does matter, like, if you if you put him on his sort of hind legs a little bit more. You've already cut it, but you can't correct it now, she says. I think it's fine, it'll do. Honestly, my mum's my worst critic. <laughs> Oh dear. He is a rat. Hooray. Little ratty. I might cut the tiniest bit off his bottom just to make sure he is sitting properly. There. We normally give red envelopes to the children in each of our boys' classes and waving a a cat to the teachers. Then we have a special Chinese dinner and pandanus pan, cake. Mmm. Hey, Christine, I didn't see you pop on. Now, if you're interested in... Um, he still looks good, thank you. <laughs> I get approval. If you're still interested, I'd like to make some Ang Pao. I remembered that from last year. Ang Pao is a little red uh, money packets that you give to children and unmarried people. If you'd like to see that, head over to my YouTube. After, not now. In a minute, because I'm going to go live on YouTube. So I'm under the same channel name, Stampin' Star Creations, on YouTube, and I'm going to be making my own Ang Pao. He looks like a mousy rat, says Maureen. <laughs> okay, let's get him stuck down on a piece of card. I'm in good time today. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. He's just got a little something sticking out there. Let's just get rid of that. All right, you'll see what I mean, hopefully, about that black border ever so slight on the white but it just is enough to to show through 
pandan cake. Thank you. I was like I'm trying to like pronounce the. I was like, is that a cake I've heard of or not? Is that the green cake pandan cake? <coughs> so only like I think was it last year or the year before have I started doing the tradition of actually doing some. I know. Don't say ouch. <laughs> He's hurt his hurt his legs. Um, do the tradition of giving my boys cards and um ang pao just because I think it's nice to have that family tradition and the culture. Um, my mum comes from Malaysia, so I have family um in Malaysia and spread about. But um, so I think it's lovely to have that. You know, teach your children about the culture and to be able to celebrate it. Like a green chiffon cake. Ah, that that sounds really tasty. Is it? What does it taste of? Is it coconutty? I can imagine it to be really nice and coconutty. So, rat or mouse? <laughs> Hopefully, I mean, with with the punches I've got, I'm hoping you know I've you know considering that was an umbrella a minute ago, and these were circles. I hope that you feel that I've done justice to the rat of the this year's um. Animal. Last year it was a pig, so um, <laughs> this is a lot easier <laughs> than doing a pig. I'm just going to turn the camera around and um, say hello to you. Hi. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you all enjoyed that. I've got to make another one now for the um, my other son, but because um, that last one was a little bit rough, rough and ready, so um, that'll be ready for them on Saturday. And we'll have to find some money to put in their envelopes. Hi Brenda, thank you, I am well. Thank you. So I'm going to tidy up my desk and I'm going to um, head over to YouTube to make some Ang Pao, which is those money envelopes, Chinese money envelopes. So my mum says that the cake is a very light green spongy cake. It's light as a feather. That sounds lovely. I need to get hold of some around here. Thank you, Ali. Ali says, very creative, well done. Thanks everybody, it's so great to have your company. I hope you can join me over on YouTube in literally a couple of minutes. I'm gonna clear down, clean my stamps, and head over there and see what we what else we're gonna make. Um, I'm hoping to use a one sheet, so it'll be one sheet wonder, but um, it won't be this colour, it'll be a red colour again. And um, yes, I've been having a little play, so Misty says, hi mum. <laughs> Thank you, Audrey. Take care everybody. Hopefully I'll see you in a minute. If not, hopefully I'll catch you next week. Next week, um, I might be showing you what I made in my class, which was something out of DSP. So um, keep your eye out for that. Christina said, it's not quite coconut. Talk about the cake, but it's super light in taste. You can often pick them up in Chinese supermarkets and bakeries. Yeah, I need to get over to a Chinese supermarket. Sounds delish. So thanks again. Take care, everybody, and hopefully I'll catch you on the other side. Bye for now.